Today we're only going to be eating dollar store food for 24 hours. As you guys can see, we're in the dollar store. All right, enough talking. Let's go inside. All right, let's grab one of these bad boys. So in here, they actually have frozen foods, desserts, snacks. Bro, they have everything. Look, I have so many options to pick from. Ooh, let's see. What are we getting for breakfast? All right, so they got some burritos or some Hot Pockets. Nope. Ooh, low-key for breakfast. I think I'm going to go with one burrito. But which one should I choose? They have the bean and cheese, beef and bean, and the chimichanga one. Bro. Oh, this is making me hungry. Bruh. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish picking out the food and I'll see you back home. All right, guys, we just got home. It is 10 a.m. in the morning and we're gonna have our first meal of the day. Can you guys guess what I got for breakfast? Let me show you real quick. Let's see what we got in this bad boy. Yes, sir. Bruh. I went with this supreme chimichanga burrito. It says spicy red hot bean and cheese burrito. For all my people that work out out there, it has 14 grams of protein. Bro, this thing is huge and it was only $1.25. All right, let's see, how do we cook this? bad boy it says if you microwave two minutes and ten seconds all right, let's add the two minutes. Wow, oh, that's cooking. Let me show you what I'm gonna be drinking. We ended up getting this bad boy. Bro, with this bottle, I feel like it's gonna last me the whole week. And we also got one of my favorite chips. This is actually one of the new Dorito flavors. So it's Cool Ranch, but they added flaming hot to it. So it's spicy Cool Ranch. They're actually pretty bomb. All right, this is ready. Let's see what we have. Yes, sir. Look at this bad boy. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. It smells pretty good, but not for the real test. Nope. Oh. Bro, it's freaking hot. I probably should have waited a little bit longer. Mmm. All right, I could definitely taste the red hot beans. Like literally, but I don't know. It's not that spicy. Maybe because I have a high tolerance. Mmm. Also, it says it has cheese, but I'm not tasting the cheese either. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I would say it's definitely missing, you know, a little bit of tapatio in there. But hey, for $1.25, we can't complain. Let's open these bad boys up. Technical difficulties. Look, ah, this is how they look. <laughs> Bro, so good. So for the burrito, I would give it a five out of 10. Now for the chips, you already know. I'm a chips guy, so 10 out of 10. You guys should definitely try these. You know what? What if I grab the burrito, a chip, and then bite it? Oh, yo, it's actually really good. Can you guys hear the crunchiness? Look. Mmm. Let's not forget about our water, boys. Most important part of your meal. <laughs> I'm serious. This is gonna last me a week. Mm. <coughs> Be sure to chew your food before you drink. So this right here was $3.75. $1.25 per each. Honestly, pretty worth it if you're on a budget. Here we go, last bite. Mmm. Alright guys, Wolf. That was it for the breakfast. Chimichanga was a success. <laughs> I'm excited to show you what I'm gonna eat for lunch and dinner, so make sure to stick around. I'll see you guys in a couple of hours. All right, guys, it is 3.45 in the afternoon, so that means it's time for lunch. Yes, sir, finally, bro, I'm actually starving. Holy, that felt like a long time. How many hours is that? Like five? <laughs> I actually went for a run in between, but anyways, can you guys guess what we're gonna be eating for lunch? Let me take you to my fridge real quick. All right, here we go, three, two, one. Boom, we got a cheeseburger. Bruh. Yes, sir. Now, it's not an In-N-Out cheeseburger, but I think it will do. Let's see, it says it's a Fast Bites cheeseburger. I actually never heard that bread. Bro, am I gonna be okay after I eat this cheeseburger? No. Nope. <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out. But let's see. It says flame broiled beef patty and American imitation cheese on a bun. Okay, it sounds pretty bomb. Bruh. And if you guys can see, it says 15 grams of protein. So you know, for my people at workout, we're gonna get the gains out here. You need that protein in your life. And this is actually a good size. Look, it's almost the size of my face. Bruh. Now the real question, is it actually that big on the inside? I guess we're about to find out. Is it? What do you guys think? Is it this big or no? Here we go. Bro, what? I actually got scammed. So it's almost the size of the box, but a bit smaller. Let's see, how do you do this bad boy? All right, it says microwave for a minute and a half. So we're gonna do that. All right, here we go. Let's put this bad boy in here. Let's add two minutes. And now we just wait. While that's cooking, if you haven't already, make sure to go drop a like and subscribe. Let's actually get our condiments out. So I have this in and out spread. It was technically free, so it counts for the challenge. Let's not forget about the free ketchup. I also bought this mini Gatorade from the 99 cent store. Let's see, how does it taste? Bro, 10 out of 10. Gatorade Frost is my favorite, favorite flavor and it's actually really good. Let me know down in the comments what is your favorite Gatorade flavor. So luckily there wasn't any french fries for my cheeseburger, but I still got some fries. Get it? <laughs> yes sir, right here my favorite hot Cheetos, the super, super flaming hot ones. If you know, you know.
You guys hear that? It sounds like a cheeseburger is ready. All right, let's see this bad boy. Bro, what the heck? Is this thing edible? I guess we're gonna find out. All right, so let's analyze this cheeseburger. The bread seems kind of too soft, you know? I'm missing those McDonald's sprinkles on top. Bread. Let's go ahead and prepare it and actually judge the burger. What if it actually tastes really good? Putting this in and out spread real quick. This spread is really good. If you ever go to In-N-Out, just order like six of them and put them in your fridge. Totally worth, trust me. Put a little bit of ketchup. Now, I usually put French fries inside my burger, but since there wasn't any French fries, I'm just gonna eat it like that. I could put chips, but I think that's gonna taste weird. All right, here we go. Moment of truth, guys. Cheers. Bro, surprisingly, this is actually really good. I thought this burger was gonna taste like plastic. Mm. Now I do think the spread and the ketchup do carry the burger's taste, but overall for a dollar and 25 cents, I think I'll give it a seven out of 10. Mm. But then again, the burger was also frozen. So for it to taste this good, the dollar store is doing a good job. Get a little bit of Gatorade. I'm telling you, Gatorade Frost is the best flavor. Especially after a workout, this thing hits different. Ah, right, let's continue with our burger. Mmm. <laughs> Not gonna lie, the bread could be a little bit better. Also, the burger is kind of plain, but then again, on the box, it says plain cheeseburger. They put a little bit more spread on it. If I had fries with this, 10 out of 10. You can never go wrong with french fries. Mm, we're almost done. This is actually getting me pretty full up. It's funny because it might seem that I'm eating it super fast, but in reality, my friends actually tell me I eat pretty slow. All right, guys, last bite of the cheeseburger. Here we go. Mmm, bro, we did it. But now the best time of lunch, yes sir. Like I said, these bad boys are the extra, extra flaming hot. These are hotter than the regular hot Cheetos. Let's see, let's see. Funny thing is that I actually make these even hotter by putting tapatio. <laughs> bro, come on, you have to have tapatio on everything. All right, here we go, taste test. I have a thing for spicy chips, especially hot Cheetos. So these right here, 10 out of 10. Mmm, I can literally eat a huge bag of these. It's getting kind of spicy there. Ah, the best part about eating hot Cheetos is that when you eat the chip, you have the Cheeto dust in your fingers. So what you do, mmm, yes sir. All right guys, that pretty much does it for lunchtime. Sheesh, that was actually pretty good. I would have to say between lunch and breakfast, lunch is winning so far. Keep in mind that that cheeseburger hot Cheetos and Gatorade only came out to 375. Bro, I can't stop eating these hot Cheetos. <laughs> I'm gonna wait a couple of hours, seconds for you, and I'll see you back in dinner time. All right guys, as you can see, it is completely dark outside. And you know what that means, it is dinner time. Yes sir. Bro, finally, been waiting so many hours. <laughs> Let me show you what I got for dinner. Yes, sir. More frozen food, bro. Yeah. But this time we got fettuccine alfredo with chicken and broccoli. Yo, the picture actually looks good this time. So hopefully it does taste really good. But we are not done. We also got this bad boy. And this right here is a garlic bread. You know, if you're eating pasta, it's a must that you have a garlic bread. The real question is, how do I cook the fettuccine alfredo? Yeah. Uh, let's see, what's the instructions at? All right, we got to put it in the microwave for three minutes. Apparently, I'm supposed to warm it up in this container, though. I thought I was supposed to put it in a plate, but I guess not. All right, here we go. Put that bad boy in there. Three minutes. While that's cooking, let's open this bad boy. Ah, bro, it smells so good. Yo, this is actually huge hey, yo, for only a dollar. Look at this. I'm definitely cutting this bad boy in half because there's no way I'm gonna eat the whole thing, bro. Look at this bad boy. Ooh, we about to warm them up in the air fryer. Forgot this just turned into a cooking video. All right, I'm gonna put these bad boys in here. Close it, air fry, then start. Then we just wait a couple minutes. This is almost ready. Well, oh, that's cooking. Let me tell you, there's one more thing I'm gonna have after dinner. It's a little surprise. Let me know down in the comments what do you think it is. All right, it's ready. Two, one, let's go. This is calling my name. All right, let's see how this bad boy looks. Bruh. I'm in a truth. Okay, you can see the peas, the chicken. Let's also check out the garlic bread. Oh, bro, this is probably the best part. All right, here we are, yes sir. Ah, oh, smell that pasta. Moment of truth, let's see how it actually tastes. Mmm. Hey, it's actually not bad. For a frozen food, mmm. I think I will actually give this a six out of 10. The sauce could be a little bit more cheesy and then the chickens can be a little bit bigger. <laughs> Cause look bro, they're like so tiny. Bruh. I forgot this thing had broccoli. Now, I was actually more excited for these bad boys. Let's see, let's see. 
Bro, you can never go wrong with garlic bread. So good. I don't know about you guys, but the way I eat my pasta, I grab my garlic bread, put my pasta on top, just like this, and Mmm. Time to rate the garlic bread. If I gotta rate it out of 10, like for real, for real, I'll give it a solid 10. It also costs us a dollar and 25, but it actually tastes really, really good. Mmm, the garlic bread is the main character. All right, let's not forget about our soda real quick. And I said I'm an athlete, but hey, you know, once in a while it's not bad. Bruh. Mm. Ah, bro, soda is different. That gas. Mm. I only paid a dollar twenty-five for the fettuccine, dollar twenty-five for the garlic bread, dollar twenty-five for the soda. So the same as lunch, I paid three seventy-five for all this. Mmm. Totally worth it. I'm starting to get full. <laughs> and I still have one more surprise for you guys. That garlic bread is really good. All right, here we go, our last bite. Mmm. Mmm. So now that we are done officially with dinner, what comes after dinner? That is dessert. Yes, sir. Let me show you what I got real quick. I'm pretty sure you all guessed it by now. It is ice cream. Bro, look at the size of this thing. It is actually Ben and Jerry's ice cream. It's funny that they actually have it at the dollar store. Let's see how many bites it takes me to finish this. By the way, this is my favorite flavor of Ben and Jerry's. It is American Dream. So this one is vanilla ice cream with fudge covered waffle cone pieces and caramel swirl. Bro, I can't even pronounce that. It's like a tongue twister. Bruh. It has so many things in here. Bro, I can't open it. Ah, right, here we go. Let's see, let's see. Ah, oh, this is how it looks. Let's see how it tastes, though. Bro, for some reason, I thought it was gonna taste different, like a dollar store version or something, but no, it's the real thing, bro. This ice cream is so good. This right here also gets 10 out of 10. After everything that I ate today, I probably have to go for a 20 mile run now. Mm. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it for the challenge. I have successfully ate dollar store food for 24 hours. For some reason, that actually felt longer than a day. But anyways, I'm gonna finish my dessert right here, mm. and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace, later.